and most of today we're going to be reacting to a video called Things You Didn't Notice in Dynamite Dance Practice, Low Key Crack. So I'm going to leave this video in the link down below. Also, I did react to the actual dance practice and I'm going to leave the link to that down below as well. Or you can click the link at the end of this video and any other videos that's related to BTS that you might want to see, I might also leave at the end of this video or in the link down below. But let's get right into it and this video is by a YouTuber named Taza. So let's get into it. Things you didn't notice in Dynamite Dance Practice Loki Crack. Welcome to my channel. This was a good dance practice. stuff late at night like I understand doing stuff like that during the day but riding crap like that at night when you know people might have to be sleeping or have to go to work early because it's not it's it's 9 p.m. right now some people go to sleep at 9 I don't go to sleep at 9 I go to sleep at like 1 or maybe 2 but people just don't have consideration but I'm going off the topic and let's just go right back into this because I accidentally <laughs> Oh, 
to things you didn't notice in dynamite dance practice low-key crack <laughs> it was very entertaining and I love videos like this because when I react to like the original videos like the actual dance practice it's like so much going on that I can't really focus on every little thing they do so I like videos like this because um, you get to see them like you know having like real fun and you know they don't have to be so, they're not so uptight, they're they're loose, they're having fun, and I didn't know that JK stepped on the V's foot by accident <laughs> in that part. I was too busy looking at V's face and like how he flipped his hair like 50 different times. I remember at one point how he used to have his hair over his forehead all the time because he thought he had a big forehead, and now look, he just does not know how to stop showing it off, and he has a beautiful forehead. Like, you know how sometimes you would see those, um those pictures that people like photoshop of V with the hairstyle that he has now but like black hair or like brown, dark brown hair people used to photoshop like his hair being parted like that like the swoosh and then when he finally did it it was like a culture shock <laughs> because it's just oh my gosh he looks more handsome like he looks handsome with any hairstyle but he just looks, it's like you can't get more handsome and he just gets more handsome and handsome and handsome and handsome and handsome. And I'm just, I'm appreciative of it. Like, I'm not complaining. But, yeah. Like, when I show my mom um, BTS, because BTS are all over my walls. I have posters and stuff like that. She, she thinks that V looks the most not Korean. Like, she thinks he looks like he's a different international internationality. Is that even right? She thinks he's not Korean. He, he looks the least Korean. And, which is, no offense to that, she's saying that he looks different. And, he just, he's the one that, um, like, she noticed first before any of, like, any other ones. Like, she had to pick somebody, um, who she thought she would remember looks different in BTS. She says it's V. And you know how when you're a first time ARMY and, well not even an ARMY because you're not a fan at this point. Let's just say you're a first time reacting to BTS. You know, you have those some people that say, you know, they all look alike. It's hard to tell the difference. At one point when I first started reacting to BTS, I felt the same way. I didn't think that they all looked alike because obviously how is that possible? They're all different people. What I'm saying is, I... It was hard for me to tell who was who, like as far as their names, it was hard for me to tell them apart. And then eventually, you know, once I got to know them more, and let's just say like in Fake Love, you see V with the same me. I re I remember him from that. And then I'll go to, <coughs> then I'll go to Save Me, the actual Save Me video. And then you see V again, you're like, oh, that's the guy from the Fake Love, the one that says, it's like, it's like after a while, you'll be like, oh, he's from there, and then, and then, and then oh, his name must be V, blah, 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 blah. and it's like, eventually, you'll t you can tell them apart and what their names are and stuff like that, 
But since my mom doesn't react to him, react to BTS and love BTS as much as I do, the same with my sister, if I was to like show all their pictures all together, I'd be like, which one do you think is the most attractive? Which one do you think it like is it like the one that you focused on first? Not, not the most attractive, because they're all attractive to me. But, and I don't want to try to, you know, um, sell out who's who's this and who's that. But let me rephrase that. Which one attracted you, like, as far as, like, his visuals first? Like, automatically. My mom said B, and I'm like, oh my gosh. That's Stephanie, because I'm your daughter, and B is my baby daddy. I mean... B is the one that spoke to me first. He's not biased. So it just came natural. It's just like um there's this other guy. I don't know if he's a YouTuber. He probably is a YouTuber, but he go he was in New York. And if you guys know him, leave him leave leave, leave a leave his name down below for other people if they want to know. But and other people do this too. Like DK D D DK 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 TV. There you go. Um, where there's certain, like, YouTubers who go into the communities and they'll be like, okay, do you know BTS and this and this and that. But the specific YouTuber, he'll, like, he, he, he does it mostly in New York Times Square, but he'll have, like, all the pictures of BTS, like, all the members, and he'll ask random people, who do you think is the most attractive? And people will pick. And, you know, I don't know how I went into this, but anyway... I love this video it was really cute very satisfying and yeah so please like subscribe if you're new and turn on those post notifications so you can notify when i put in future videos and i'll see you guys later Bye -bye. <laughs>